What's up, YouTube? This is another episode of Bryos on Aquatics, ASAP Penfozy, aka, coming at you here with another video. Uh, this one is a long awaited pet room update. I know I missed last month's update, but it's okay because I'm going to be doing two updates this month. There's going to be this one, which is going to be like the bigger of the two updates. Um, I'm just going to be showing all the tanks and, you know, giving you updates on everything that's been happening. And then next update will be smaller. I'll just go through any tanks that have changes. Or if no changes, then I'll just go through a couple little highlights and, sh sh you know, so show some fish. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to try to not drag this video out too long. So, yeah, let's get on with it. So we're looking at Alex right now. You're probably wondering why Alex has one of these crappy red heat lights on. Well, it's because... Uh, these things I ordered these off of Amazon this is the kind that I usually get and these are my favorite ones I, uh, I never had problems with them but these ones died out really quickly um, I don't know why but they just died really quickly and I had this red one sitting around so I figured I'd just use it until I got a normal one I mean the red one is better than nothing after all but yeah that's Alex so let's go ahead and check out uh, some updates. I got lots of cool stuff in this video, so let's get to it. All right. So of course we always got to start out with the fish, um, with the Severums here, uh, and as usual with Harvey. He is about nine inches now. He is growing, uh, so he's doing pretty well. He's not doing perfect. Uh, he actually has come down with a small case of internal parasite, sadly. Though I caught it early. Unlike uh, with Poseidon, so I should be able to uh, heal him using Epsom, my Asian imported uh, parasite medicine, and water changes. So we'll see what happens there. But yeah, he's doing good. He's still acting normal, but you know, he's just got the parasites. He eats, you know, so we should be cool. Uh, he is due for a, a water change in a parasite treating soon so we'll see what happens after that so let's go down here uh, this is Jack he's still doing very well um, I love this fish he's not as interactive as Harvey is but he is very beautiful I love this fish uh, I can't wait to get him and Harvey into uh, their more permanent community setup I'll see how that goes um, if it doesn't work then you know some things will have to happen. That's not really for this video, though. So, yeah. Yeah, that's Jack. And then outside of Jack right here is actually a new tank. I got this at the dollar per gallon sale. This is a 55-gallon. I have cool plans with this tank. You guys just wait to see that. Um, but until then, I guess y'all will have to wait. So let's go check out... a. Uh, a couple more fish, show you crush, whatnot, uh, and we'll get on with the video and some really good updates. Alright, so up next here on the list of animals to update is, of course, Crush, the common snapping turtle. He's doing very well. Um, I got a couple things planned for this tank. Nothing big. It's basically, uh, I found this really big, nice looking, uh, piece of driftwood it's not this one right here that you're looking at this is the old one that's always been with him but the one that I found is like a cave it's really nice so I'm gonna try and put that in here and then I'll have this piece of wood for a special tank that I'm setting up here in a few months so stay tuned for that uh, but yeah he's doing good eating growing doing his thing uh, I need to get him a, a decent heater though because his water is too cold I recently ran into something that I had to actually use the heater for. Uh, it was just something that I could not pass up, but it's okay. Snapping turtles are very cold tolerant, uh, thankfully. If it was uh, something like, a, I don't know, a slider or, you know, just something else like that, you know, they're not nearly as forgiving. But yeah, that's what's going on with him, so let's move on to some more fish. Alright, so next up here is where we're going to be starting uh, the updates. Um, from here on out, there's basically going to be updates in almost every single tank, so stay tuned for that. Uh, so in this tank, nothing really happened much. Uh, 
I put a new hood on it so the lighting is better in here and there's more coverage of the top of the tank. I took out all of the floating plants except for my Hornworth. Uh, and there's also some, a little, just a little bit of uh, rickia in there, rickia moss. And then what happened otherwise than all that little stuff is I took out all of the other fish that were living in here. And I sold them at a local swap meet. I got some stuff at the swap meet too, so stay tuned for that. And we'll get into it later. But yeah, so now the angelfish have a tank of their own. Don't mind the messy bottom, it's just a bunch of dead plant matter and other junk for moving plants around. Uh, and also it is due for a siphoning, so yeah. So anyways, yeah, let's move on to the actual fish that's in here. This is my angelfish pair. Uh, the male right here, I figured out names for him. This is Lucifer. And the female, which is back there, see if I can... Ah, oh God, bad camera work, excuse it. And then that's Lucy, the female back there. Let me zoom in on her. And of course, he's going to be a camera hog. Uh, but yeah, that's them, Lucifer and Lucy. They're doing great. Uh, eating. Uh, they had a huge batch of fry recently, but they sadly ate them. But uh, anyways, yeah, let's move on to the next tank with some updates. Uh, I moved the bitch here grow out tank down to the little three foot stand. Actually, my last update, these guys weren't down here either. But yeah, I moved both the 29 gallon tanks down to the bottom of the three foot stand. Uh, so yeah, let's look at the fish. This is Spike, the Delhezy bitch here. He gave me a big scare the other day. Um, whenever I moved the tank over here and did a water change, he like kind of went over on his side, like went kind of belly up. It really scared me, but I don't know. He got back up onto his feet pretty quickly. Thank God. He's one of my favorite fish. Uh, God, the Senegal was just out, but of course, right when I flip the camera on him, he's gonna go running for the hills. Let's see if we can go around this way and catch him. Uh, not by the looks of it, but, oh, sorry, dang, bad camera work 101 in this video. Uh, here, let me unscrew the camera off of the tripod and I'll give you a look at um, the new fish that's in here. There's four of them, uh, all of which are the same species. They're all very stressed. I need to move them out of this tank. They do not like this tank at all. They don't like living with the bitch ears. Uh, so anyways, yeah, let's look at these new fish. Oh, camera's still zoomed in. Uh, this is one of them, as you can see, very stressed out. Uh, if you don't know what these are, these are keyhole cichlids. There's four of them in here. This is just one of them. One of the larger ones right there. Oh, wait. Before I continue, there's the Senegal. That's uh, Alan. So he's out. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's uh, four of them in here in all. They hide a lot, so I'm not going to be able to get you shots of all of them. Uh, and one last thing for this tank, I sold one of the lotuses. Uh, it was just kind of difficult to work with that particular plant. It was just acting stupid, so I sold it. Uh, so yeah, anyways, let's get on to all the big, uh, the bigger updates, and y'all yeah, be out of here. Alright, so moving on to the top of the seven foot rack. Uh, we're going to start with the one tank that has no updates. Uh, and then all three of the next tanks do have updates. Uh, yeah, this is just the Lamprologus Ocelotus Blue. Uh, they're doing fine. It's, as you can see, cyano uh, bacterial allergy has taken over the entire tank. Uh, I have plans to get rid of this. Uh, just, I don't I'm not going to get into that. It's just a whole process I don't feel like explaining. Yeah, this is the smaller of the two males. Uh, the larger is back there, and then the female is back there in that shell. Um, many people might think that the female is a ocelot is gold. However, that's not uh, the case. You know, there's just different ways to tell them apart. Um, not really gonna get into, but yeah, she's she's a blue still, but she happens to just have different body color than some of them. See, so yeah, let's move on to the next tank here. 
this has some really cool updates. While I was at that swap meet, I picked up some really cool fish. These are, let me grab the paper because they have quite the long name. Here it is. Uh, these are Japanese dwarf blue metallic double sword guppies. Uh, two males and a whole ton of females. Uh, let me get a good zoom in on these males. This is the worst looking of the two, believe it or not. And then the better of the two males is this one. As you can see, his trailers are a lot longer if I can get this to focus. He won't stop moving, so that might be a difficult thing to do. Wait for him to turn around. But yeah, that's him. You can see those long trailers. Uh, this big female right here gave birth recently, so there are a few babies in here as well. Or wait, no, she wasn't the one that gave birth. Uh, it was this one. But yeah, they're really cool. I love these fish. Uh, I also got a couple new plants. I got this, which is Ludwigia SP Super Red. It's a type of hybrid, uh, hybrid Ludwigia. And... I think that's all the new plants that are in here. But yeah, let's move on to the next tank. This is the 10 gallon tank that had all of the Brevis in it. The Lamprologus Brevis. All four of them are still in here, but as you can see, I put Multis in here as well. Uh, the tank that they were in had a huge die off. Um, I lost all but four of them. So that really sucks. I'm going to get into that kind of stuff later in the video. That'll probably be the last thing I show. Or one of the last things anyways. But yeah, I'll get into that later. So yeah, I have four... Uh, os not Ocelotus. Uh, four Brevis. Uh, four Multifasciatus. And one little baby Ocelotus Blue. But yeah, they're all doing really good. Uh, I just have to separate these guys off into their own separate tanks. Um, and we'll be back on track with them. And now, here is one of the biggest updates of the entire video. I'll have to move slowly for this. As you can see, of course, more shells. Zoom in on this guy right here. Now, if you don't know what that is, obviously it is another uh, type of ocelotus. However, it's a very, very special rare species. These are Lamprologus ocelotus black. They are the most rare type of ocelotus that you can get uh, average retail go for about 20 to 30 bucks each however I got an awesome deal on them uh, from a local hobby the same person I got like almost all the other shell dwellers from so that's pretty sweet I have seven of them now let me I'll get into that later once I get to the 20 gallon tank uh, but yeah there's seven in, in all they're all just uh, hiding they got put in this tank just today uh but yeah anyways let's move on to the 20 gallon then the biggest update of the entire thing and we'll move on all right so we're not really going to spend too much time on this tank at all because you know no light on it or anything but basically uh this 20 gallon tank what the multis used to be in uh, i had a huge die off in there at first i was just like okay maybe it was just the fish themselves you know it could have been anything, so I sterilized the tank, cleaned it really well, did water changes on it, uh, did this, did that, um, and I figured it'd be clean, so I bought those Ocelotus Blacks, and I put them in here, I bought 21 of them in all, put them in there, and overnight, I kid you not, I lost, what was it, like, 11 of them, I think, overnight, no, 12 overnight and then I lost two more today so I moved them into that 10 gallon that's why the 10 gallon looks really sloppily uh, put together no substrate shells are really sloppy this that uh, you know for like four, 13 or 14 of them died and I just um, I had an emergency move all of them out of this tank uh, so I'm going to have to break down this tank, throw away all the sand, sterilize the tank itself, leave it out to dry for a week or two, and we should be back on track. And I'll uh, do something else about this tank. So, yeah, anyways, let's move on to the last update and we'll be out of here. Alright.
Alright, so moving on to the last update and the biggest update of the entire video. Uh, I'm showing you over here right now because I don't want to quite unveil the new fish. Um, now, if any of you follow me on Facebook, you've probably already seen this. But, if you don't, well, here I am. Uh, now this fish, of course, I got a new big cichlid. Um, it's, uh, it's big. It's, well, it's not, uh, currently big, but it's red, orange, I guess, and is super awesome. Now, let's just slowly pan over, unless he decides to show himself. There he is. Uh, this is Gunther, the true Midas cichlid. Yeah, I said it, true Midas cichlid. He's not uh, a hybrid between red devils. He is uh, a purebred Midas which I think is awesome. Um, so he's awesome. His name is Gunther. I named him after uh, the man who originally uh, classified them, I guess. I don't really know what the right word for it is, but that's really the best I got for it. Um, yeah, he's awesome. I love this fish. I don't really want to say replacement, but that's really the best uh, word I can think of for it uh but replacement for poseidon any of you new new subscribers probably don't know poseidon he is my old uh 14 inch jaguar cichlid that uh died last year due to internal parasites um so very sad but uh but yeah he was an awesome fish i figured it was time to get back in a large central american cichlids uh he's gonna be going into Long term, he's going to go into the 100 gallon uh, that the turtle's currently in. Obviously, they're not going to be living together because that'd be a terrible idea. Um, I have to wait until the turtle gets moved out into a 300 gallon stock tank, pond sort of setup. But yeah, that's him. He does really, really well. He eats like a, a big pig. Um, I love this fish, he's awesome. Uh, let's see if I can maybe even get you a little feeding action. So excuse any possible bad camera work that I got going on here. Uh, I'll see if I can drop some food in for you. Alright, let's do this. He kind of likes to take them one or two at a time and then just eat them and eat them individually later. But yeah, that's him eating. He's uh, he's a big slob, big pig. Uh, but I love this fish. He's gonna be a uh, stable in the fish room for sure. Definitely gonna be a stable in the fish room. But yeah, anyways, guys, that's Gunther. Um, he's awesome. So I guess that wraps it up for this update so comment rate subscribe respect the hobby respect the hobbyist and most importantly respect the fish i hope you enjoyed the video and peace out